belief systems keep you limited. Where we put our intent and energy is so important. We decide ahead of time what we decide our reality should be. As humans, we don't like the fact that we are the ones that choose what our experience is, but that's really what it is. Like, we want it to be that the outside has some sort of control on us so that we can, like, kind of play small about ourselves. I think it's important to expand an unconditional love of the self, and you'll realize that there's nothing to fear the whole time. You're really just fearing your own power. But all the belief systems come from, obviously, capitalism and then, like, anything you heard that was distorted about you growing up or if you're bullied at school or whatever the hell or if it was a family member that made you feel small, like, whatever it is. I feel like capitalism really throws obviously like alcohol and these and like love island oh my god i was watching love island this week and like i feel like they released love island this is something my roommate actually said last night he was like i was watching love island and i was like i can't stop watching like i can't stop like i had so many plans to like make this animation and focus on the long-term like important projects in my life and like the whole week anytime I had like a second I'd I'd try to sit down and finish Love Island and it was like episode 33 so I was 33 hours into this show I told my roommate I can't stop watching and he was like I think it's kind of wild timing that Love Island is on right now right and then like my higher self was like like echoed his words and was like oh my god and I like paused it and went straight upstairs and actually wrote these like notes for this episode right now. Love Island is a distraction. It really is. It's one of the capitalism's distractions because television is meant to distract us from like our higher purpose and like it's fine to watch tv here and there, of course. I know, like, it's crazy to for me to be like, cut it out completely. Like, don't enjoy entertainment. <laughs> but, like, most all media shouldn't be consumed because it's, like, that whole thing of energy, right? Like, isn't it a wild timing that Love Island, all these shows are, like, on right now, like, during this time of such a timeline shift in humanity? I wrote down this thing here about the atmosphere being charged and all this stuff. I wrote down, the atmosphere is charged. We are going through a quantum leap. We have the thing with Trump, planes being down, Microsoft being down, digital glitches equals a quantum leap. Anytime there's chaos energy in the atmosphere, it's an opportunity to leap and shift and move into timelines that are aligned with our highest good or highest missions. It's your time to fast, to go into water, to get outside into expansion, get into nature, download the codes that are available to us. When you are dependent on the matrix, you are dependent on the systems. But remember, this is a pretend physical world and we can manipulate it by being more tied into love energy instead of fear. Fill yourself with light and love and allow that to expand outside of you. This is the mission. It's as simple as that. Anybody that's operating from anger is trying to pull you into these man-made timelines, fear-based programming, because community-driven is a threat to capitalism, because when people put their brains together and start a whole new system, that's a threat. Have a heart that seeks truth. The safest place to sit is in neutrality. Don't be pulled to one side or the other. Sit at that zero point and then decide which timeline you want to be on. All it is, like, jumping timelines is just having love for the self, which means, like, also enhancing your vessel because if your vessel's more healthy, you can hold capacity for, like, obviously higher higher self, like a more upgraded version of yourself. It's like the physical draws in the non-physical, vice versa. You're just, like, it's like, 
pushing against each other to form the best version of you, which then is part of a better physical reality since we are rendering everything. Decide which timeline you want to be on by taking action and moving in that direction. Go to the gym, ascension happens in the body, the physical gets integrated back into the 5D. You need a strong vessel to download and integrate and hold space for these codes. It's as simple as this. Being in neutrality, not pulled from 3D stuff, and being in love for the self. So that's what I was saying in my last video, like the whole frequency vibration thing, the like eating the right food, the not drinking, the the being in nature, the not watching TV and like inhaling the bad music and all this stuff. And like, it's going to sound crazy to people that like um, haven't studied the science of it and then all these other things with it. It's just going to sound like a like weird toxic spiritual thing or something but it's not this is just how energy works and this is just the reality of this reality <laughs> this reality is a hologram for our souls to be in for a period of time we have more power than we think and the whole game of this life is to find that power again and that's all just like self-love and once you have more love for the self and the vessel and you're vibrating in authenticity, then you create a better timeline for yourself. You're, we're jumping to different timelines every second, billions of times per second, I believe. These things are just so important. I wrote down the highest resonance frequency you can be on is not joy, it's not love, it's authenticity. This is the thing that Bashar said that I wrote down just to like, pair with everything else I was saying. He said, you're creating a new reality every second. This is the power of our spirits. Physical reality is a projection of consciousness. This is also what theoretical physicist Donald Hoffman said. It's a dream that we are having as spirits. We never leave spirit. That's our natural state. We are there right now. But a portion of our spirit is dreaming that we are not, and that's what physical reality is. So we are constantly projecting billions of times a second. We are in a mental construction, a hologram. All brains are connected, forming a single network. 